Welcome back to News Talk. We'll get, we'll get to a live update on the many closings that have hit the region, the, our preparations for the blizzard of 2016, and the all-important forecast. It's all coming in the just a couple of moments right here. But joining us now, the District of Columbia's Attorney General, Carl Racine. He was scheduled to be today's lead guest. Thanks very much for being flexible as we keep folks uh, updated on what could be and is likely to be uh, a historic winter weather event. Uh, so thanks very much for your time and good to see you. Great to be with you, Bruce. Are there weather-related events that the folks that the attorneys in your office track? Are there, for example, uh, weather-related consumer scams that, that uh, sometimes pop up at times like this? I'm happy you asked that question. Uh, D.C. has an anti-gouging act that is part of our consumer protection statute. And it's really important to understand what that law precludes. That law makes it illegal for any merchant to provide a service and charge more than a 10% markup. So 10% for a service. That law also makes it illegal for any vendor who's selling any good to mark up the price at any percentage. So you should uh, understand your rights. If you think that you're being gouged, make sure you try to get a receipt. And if you need to, give us a call right here, Consumer Protection Hotline at the Office of Attorney General. So, so that's the number that people can actually call, 202-442-9828. We'll, we'll put that, if people are reaching for pencils now, we'll put that number up again at the end of the segment so people can uh, be sure to write that number down and have it handy. And it, there's, uh, that's, so there's email too, consumer.protection at dc.gov. Two ways for people to be in communication. Thanks very much, Bruce. Mm -hmm. So uh, folks who are selling items that might be you know, run-of-the-mill popular most of the time, but suddenly everyone needs their, their de-icing, their snow shovels, or whatever it is. Uh, there, are, there are rules in place, there are laws on the books that say you can't just jack up the price of that item to anything you want because it's suddenly a crisis environment. That's exactly right. And look, the reality is that most hardware stores, most convenience stores do it the right way. Mm -hmm. They're fair, they understand the law, and they comply. Nonetheless, if you are trying to buy a shovel and a vendor wants to mark it up by 20%, that is illegal. They're supposed to sell you the shovel at the same price that it was yesterday. If you're purchasing a service, there is provision in law where the service can be marked up, but there's a cap on that markup to 10%. Again, if you feel like you're being taken advantage of, get a receipt, write down exactly where you bought it, and give us a call at the Office of Attorney General. We have your back. Uh, do, do provisions like this, maybe not exact, but for the folks listening to us now in Virginia or Maryland, are there comparable protections on the books in most places? Is it worth at least a phone call if you think there's a problem? It certainly is worth a phone call. And generally, uh, the states do have similar laws. I'm not familiar, unfortunately, with the law in Maryland nor Virginia, but I would encourage you to reach out to the Office of Attorney General in those states if you live in those states. Anyone providing a service or any retailer, particularly in a neighborhood, who is in it for the long haul is not going to seize on a moment where they might get a short-term revenue boost because of some crisis environment, but then life goes back to normal and you want to have a good reputation with your neighbors, not be the guy who built people in, 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 in a critical time. Well, you're exactly right. Good business people want to uh, establish loyalty with uh, clients and customers. It's the unsavory business folks who look to take advantage of a circumstance like a big snowstorm. Are there other weather issues that, that come across your desk? Are there other scams or other uh, situations that we as consumers need to be aware of so we, that no one takes advantage of us or a loved one? Uh, candidly, you know, for the, in terms of the Office of Attorney General, most of the issues relate to uh, provision of services and goods. I will note uh, that certainly the D.C. government has done a heck of a lot in order to prepare for this storm. And, of course, they have a provision on the D.C. government website. If you see someone who's homeless, who needs a place to go, dial 311. Uh, if there are other emergencies that you see, please report them. Um, the government is absolutely working hard to make sure that residents are safe. You've been on the job about 12 months now. Talk about, and, and, and the job shifted as you were taking office because uh, before you, the Attorney General was someone appointed by the mayor who worked 
basically in the mayor's office and for the mayor. Uh, in early 2015, the district became much more like Maryland and Virginia in that the attorney general is someone who gets elected and has much more of an independent st office and legal structure. Reflect for a moment, if you would, on, on what you think, what sort of seeds you've been able to plant during the course of your first 12 months. Well, it's been an, an extraordinary uh, one year plus. Uh, and at the outset, I really want to thank all of the employees, uh, lawyers and non-lawyers at the Office of Attorney General who have really made the shift from an appointed Office of Attorney General subordinate to the mayor to an independent Attorney General who's subject to election and obviously accountable uh, to the people. Uh, and so the staff has been really remarkable. I think we've had a, a banner year, uh, candidly. Um, we, had, we came in with uh, several objectives. One, of course, was to uh, build and develop uh, a culture of independence at the Office of Attorney General. And I think without question, uh, the office is perceived and is indeed operating in an independent manner. You might recall that uh, we had to fight for that independence. Independence isn't really worth it unless you have to fight for it. Uh, and that's just exactly what we did. And certainly we got a lot of support uh, from the public in that regard. We've also moved on other initiatives that we talked about during my campaign uh, and other priorities that came to our attention after uh, getting into office. And I can talk about those mm -hmm. whenever you like me to. Sure. We have about a minute left this segment. Can you talk for just a moment? We'll come back and, and continue uh, a bit later on. Uh, you and, attorney and the, uh, your counterparts in Virginia and Maryland got together recently to talk about gun violence. Can you talk briefly about that? Absolutely. It's extremely important and unprecedented. Uh, uh, I reached out to uh, Attorney General Mark Herring in Virginia and Attorney General Brian Frosch in Maryland. Uh, each of us share a passion uh, for reducing gun violence and each of us believe in common sense gun restrictions. What we did was we talked about uh, the facts uh, and data, data that is compiled by the ATF. And what that data shows with respect to the District of Columbia is that over 60% of gun violence derives from illegal guns that make, its way to, make their way to D.C. from Maryland and Virginia. So we uh, got significant commitments uh, and uh, other work to do from Maryland and Virginia all directed at reducing gun violence in the District of Columbia. This is an ongoing push, not a one-time thing, the three of you? The oh, absolutely. It's an ongoing push. And I must say, we're not only going to focus on gun violence, we're going to team on other issues like consumer protection uh, together. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, stand by for just a moment. An in-depth look at the region's preparations for the blizzard of 2016 and the latest on the forecast next, and then more of our conversation with D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine. Keep it here.